Bienvenido, YouTubers. This is Cheryl with CNC RV Day. Yeah. And today we are taking you on a tour of Old Panama City, Panama Viejo, which was founded in 1515 by the Spaniards. But follow us because we're also going to take you on a tour of New Panama City and other places in Panama that you should see when you're here. So follow us, The Adventures of CNC. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm taking my chances along with my dreams. So we are checked in at Fort Lauderdale Airport and we are Panama bound. Here is the boarding ticket. We are traveling with Copa Airlines and we only paid like $200 for our ticket. So it's a really, really great deal. And we are off to Panama. So follow CNC RV Day yet. just randomly decide to go to Panama. We got invited to Panama by Carlos and Lou and our daughter-in-law Lou is from Panama. So we thought what a great opportunity to travel with somebody from the country who could show us all the hot spots. We flew out of Fort Lauderdale. It was about a three hour flight. We flew directly into Panama City and it was only about 20 minutes from the airport in Panama City to the U condo building where we stayed, our home for a few days. The U is located on Avenida Balboa, which is the main street that runs through Panama City. We chose the U because of its location, right in the heart, walking distance from a lot of different things, because of the price and because it was such beautiful rooms. There's also two restaurants right in the U building. So that was super convenient. There's a grocery store downstairs just in the back of the U building. So we highly recommend staying here. This is the pool area at the U in Panama City. As you can see, it's a beautiful pool area. It's located on the 11th floor and it's right in the middle of Panama City. So you're surrounded by all the, the skyscrapers and it's early, so it's still very quiet and peaceful out. It's so pretty. Welcome to Panama City. This is a one bedroom condo. It's 173 a night. We booked it through Airbnb and it's just beautiful. There's a guest bath. Table is set. I will not be cooking or serving food. There's this cute desk, living room. Beautifully decorated everything is. There's a walk-in closet. There's a laundry room with a washer and dryer. Double sink bath. And this unit is on the 63rd floor. So we can probably see everything in Panama City. Just incredible. Wow, makes me a little bit weak in my knees, but here is the view. From the U condo building in Panama City, Panama. We are super excited because we want to take you on a taste of Panama to some of the foodie experiences that we have had in Panama starting with a Zahar restaurant in the U building, right in the heart of Panama City. So follow us. 
Zahar restaurant is located on the seventh floor in the U condo building. And this is an excellent, excellent restaurant. When we first went in, I thought it was going to be super pricey by the look of it. But it was not. It was very affordable. Service was excellent. Food was absolutely delicious. And we had an amazing dinner there. We highly recommend it. See you do this, honey. <laughs> you can do it. So Charles is teaching me how to use chopsticks. Oh my make gosh! I'm hungry because my, my sushi keeps falling. <laughs> so I'm going to get this in my mouth really quickly. Really quickly. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. See, I try to teach her this. <laughs> this way <laughs> The Hilton is conveniently located right next to the U and they have a casino, they have live entertainment, bars, restaurant. We had some good times at the Hilton. to see the Sorties Hotel which is in the, the center of Panama City. We had thought we would spend a few nights here at the end of our trip and it's a really beautiful hotel, casino, restaurants downstairs but we decided to spend our whole week at the U. Blame Kiki is a beautiful Italian restaurant on the ground floor in the U building. This is an Italian restaurant with a twist. I noticed that everything on the menu had a word skinny behind it or in front of it. And usually Italian restaurant is high carb foods and not so skinny, but we had a delicious skinny pizza. And when our server said it was, you know, a, a large pizza, we expected it bigger than uh, in America, we would refer to it as a personal pan pizza. It was absolutely yummy. Thank you. 
Panama Viejo, Old Panama, is only about 15, 20 minutes away from the new Panama City. It's only $10 a person to get in, and this includes a golf car ride out to the ruins. You have access to the museum. There's also a gift store. And outside is a little snack bar with a seating area under the trees. It's really beautiful. You can go inside the cathedral. You can climb up. There's 400 stairs inside the old cathedral. But because of my knee, we didn't do the hike up through the cathedral. But we highly recommend visiting uh, Panama Viejo. percent of the population in Panama is Catholic. Panama Viejo, a place to visit when you're in Panama. This is old Panama City. It was founded in 1515 by the Spaniards. And in the 1600s, it was destroyed by the, by the British, by the English. And then new Panama City was built. So much history in this place. It's so cool. You can hear all the little birds. These are the ruins. This was a cathedral. And these are the ruins of homes from the wealthier people. And then in the middle of the property, there's also a convent that used to be a convent back in the day. So Panama has celebrated 500 years in existence. I was going to the library to borrow a book, but then I saw that all the books are in Spanish. No bueno. Eight of us traveled to Panama together and we had a blast. Stay tuned to next week's videos for more Panama. Don't forget to like and subscribe.